Well, coming up, Memorial Day, pretty darn important as we honor our veterans, and a good place to go to do that would be in Brevard, North Carolina, with the Veterans Museum. We've got Emmett Cassiano with us. Yes. Good morning there, young man. Thank you, Jack and Megan. That is a beautiful place to be in, and of course, you've been down before to sure. bring some relics. Yes. So how, how's it going? Big plans? So, yes. I, I'll tell you what, since we opened up in this past March, we've been inundated with uh, visitors mm -hmm. and groups especially kids, you know, groups with schools, schools and Boy sure. Scouts and so on. And um, we are, we went up another level with this new exhibit with the Jeep. Uh, it's, the scene is an APO, an Army Post Office, which I believe it's, a lot of people can understand that. Yeah. And uh, what's great about the Jeep uh, is the fact that it's not just the Jeep. We have a 1942 Harley Davidson motorcycle yeah. yes also in this music uh, in this exhibit and um, it's a, a testament to all the people that helped and mm -hmm. the volunteers Jack I tell you what we have over 50 volunteers now and I don't know how many behind wow. the scenes and it's it, now we opened up another day we're open Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday because of, we have more volunteers to help plus yeah. there's more people that want to come in it's a beautiful place, right oh. downtown Yeah, Brevard. right downtown Brevard, yeah. right next to the historic courthouse. Sure. Explain, too, kind of the significance of the Jeep when it comes to the well, war. Well, well, the Jeeps were very instrumental in, in getting people around. And not only that, it was small. It was only, mm -hmm. it's five feet wide, ten feet long, four-wheel drive. I mean, it is, uh, there's, there's nothing fancy on it, no. but it got you where you had to go. Yeah. And um, we're really proud of it. A fellow from... Uh, Winston-Salem donated it to us along with a trailer that came with it and um, we took it all apart and put it back into the, and took it all apart yeah, all and the then video. put it in the museum and put it all back together piece again. By piece. Yes and we have a video of it when you come in it shows uh -huh. the people see how we got it into the museum. Well, how That's long before World War itself. II started and the, before the Jeep arrived? When did World War II start? 42, 43? Well, well it really started. 41? Well, I mean, we entered it in ended, yeah, 45. Yeah. We ended it, but people, I mean, the war started much in 39 yeah. when, mm -hmm. when when uh, Hitler invaded Germany, invaded Poland. We Poland. had the Jeep home side before yeah. we took it to Europe? Yeah, it, it, I think the Jeep was a, um, a necessary vehicle at that time. Right. It was fast to build, and we built many, many, I mean, thousands of them. Sure. And it was uh, not only used in the European theater, but it was also used in the Pacific theater mm -hmm. as well. But the Jeeps were very instrumental in, um, and not only that, I mean, you put 30 caliber machine guns on them. I mean, there was, you could put weaponry on them. They were easy to do. What about yeah. the significance of the Harley Davidson or the well, motorcycle? Well, that was, the, <laughs> the, the MPs normally use those. Right. Uh, to get around with, yeah. and we do have an MP standing there with a cache of German weapons in this uh, exhibit too. And but the Jeep, the, the Jeep, and the, and I think in the, in the motorcycle, like they, they helped each other. Yeah, out, yeah they, they, they were. Yeah. And interesting, we were fighting the Germans for one, and the Germans invented the motorcycle. Yeah, uh, yeah. great invention. We, yeah, exactly. Do you have a guest speaker that you're going to be yes. bringing in? Yes, yes. We have this fellow right here, Target Tokyo, uh -huh. and this is about the Doolittle Raid, which mm -hmm. happened in April of 42 and um, we this fellow here James Scott I believe is a, um, a great author and and I'm going to tell you what we, we're bringing authors in from all over to the United States and we actually play their plane fare in their hotels uh -huh. and so on and so forth so we're growing and growing and growing we have over 20,000 people now that visit our museum and we're really proud of it and uh, the thing that really it, it's all it's all about honoring veterans yeah. And, oh, and this Memorial Day coming up right now, mm -hmm. we have our parade. A lot of people confuse Memorial Day with Veterans Day. Yeah, Memori they do. It's the Fallen Heroes mm -hmm. Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. And Veterans Day, we celebrate all veterans. Sure. Cool. But the thing, the, the, the parade is going to be, and I'm, I'm the guy out there this year introducing the all the people you know, in the parade coming through. And uh, we have a uh, Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. officer who's our keynote speaker that day 
and it's put on by the veterans, uh, the American Legion, and um, we're really happy that, that we're back doing that again yeah. because of COVID. We didn't, we missed it we a few miss years. It. How sure. long we, is the exhibit going to be open? Uh, this this exhibit's going to be forever. It'll stay there. Yeah, it'll awesome. stay there. So. Yeah. You know, we gave him the care for the Carolinas. Right? I know. Several years yeah. ago yeah. for his work, his hard work well, making we, this place happen. We love it. We think it's a great little treasure this year yeah. right here in Brevard. Yeah. Go by and check it out. Veterans Museum, you can see it at theveteransmuseum.org. Thank you so much. Well, well it's a pleasure Thank being you. here. Yeah, sharing some, it's an honor. some Thank cool you so history much. with Thank us. You.